mix it up. Religion is the clearest telescope in which we can behold the beauties of creation. Let us reflect on these words of William Scott Downey, whose intention was to see the beauty and importance of others' cultures, beliefs, and ourselves. If we don't focus on others' beliefs, cultures, and ourselves, then we will lose that, that beauty that is within. Focusing on religion allows us to understand these others' beliefs, cultures, where they come from, and even ourselves. So, who am I? I am Jose Garcia. I have been to more than 10 religious seminars where discussions of religious diversity was discussed. I have also read a few parts of three holy scriptures, such as the Torah, the Bible, and the Quran. Before we start, let us point our telescopes at the starry sky, focus on experience, interpretation, and outcome, which makes up religion. So, let's start off with human experience. Human experience can either be good or it can be bad. It can be an experience that makes you think twice. According to a paper by a student at Oxfell School, she wrote, unimportant experiences may simply change how you feel. One day which can cause a chain reaction of how you react a certain day, which can impact that day and essentially impact your life. Experiences make up your identity. Emily Falk, a coordinator at the Department of Psychology at the University of Pennsylvania, decided to add upon that in her paper called The Brain and Social Networks, Fundamentally Building Blocks of Human Experience. In her article, she wrote, that we also rely on social reactions of others. We develop a pattern of how they react and how they behave until we have enough information to be independent and get a grasp of those experiences. Let us move on with experience, interpretations of those experiences. Experience is without value unless we can interpret it, trying to find that meaning. It is based, interpretations are based off what we know and the culture that we grew up with. Mary Aguirre, one of the four main authors at the University of Paris, wrote, how do we, wrote an article of how do we interpret questions. She found out that human, humans have two ways of interpreting experience. One way is called simple knowledge tracking, essentially meaning trying to connect the dots with the information that's given. She also found out the other way of how we interpret experiences called Socratic ignorance, meaning that we are aware that we, we lack knowledge to make those connections. How we interpret those experiences can have us defined as skeptics or curious. Alongside that, a peer-reviewed article called The Philosophy of Religion included a Hindu parable of, blind, of a blind man and elephants where they each felt a different side of elephants and then described what they felt and what they believed it was. The article also explained this parable as, and I quote, our beliefs and viewpoints are constricted by our uncultured concepts, end quote. Religion relies on experience alongside interpretations which equal outcome. Again, the, the peer-reviewed article of Philosophy of Religion quoted, an age where good and happiness conquer over evil. This is the outcome that was designed by both human experience along with interpretation as to what the outcome should be. Alongside that, a psychologist called, a psychologist by the name of Cole, Cole wrote in his article, Experiential Learning, created and described a cycle of learning and reflection. Essentially, in other words, interpretation of a human experience. He also describes a room where self-improvement can be made. Alongside that, if you can make room for self-improvement, you can also change your outcome or even yourselves. So, now that we listen to how experience is formed, 
how we can interpret those experiences and how a combination leads to outcome. Let us look into the telescope to admire the, the uniqueness of religion, which is the beauty of creation. Thank you.